I found evidence of break-ins at our house. We had thieves in our house. Good morning, guys. You hear that? It's the crunch of snow. A very cold morning. It's 11 degrees here. It's warmed up from when I got up. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Sun glistening off the snow. I'm about to sneeze because it's so bright. I'm heading out to milk. It is chilly yesterday. Other than plowing, we didn't do a whole lot. Um, it didn't snow too much after I plowed, so that's good. Uh, we got a chance of two inches of snow tomorrow, but two inches is no big deal. So I'm gonna head out to milk. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we're getting ready to go to basketball practice. I wanted to let you know, one of the nice features about this van is it's got a heated windshield. So I don't know if I get you guys close. If you can see, maybe right there, there's little itty bitty squiggly, squiggly lines. There's wires and throughout the whole windshield. So you can just push the button, heat it up, and all that ice will just slide right off. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna go grab the rest of the basketball stuff to put in the van, and we're gonna get going. Um, like I said, today was kind of, it's too cold for the kids really to play outside much. Um, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow when we get that extra couple inches of snow, so hopefully over the next couple days they can, uh, they can play outside. But we're heading to basketball, see you guys in a bit. Guys, this is going to be another two-day vlog. Um, I'm out here milking this lady. <clears throat> it is probably about 9 o'clock right now. I just got home from basketball. As you can see, it's chilly. It's in the single digits. Fortunately, there's no wind right now, so it feels like single digits only. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. we got a basketball game then, and uh, hopefully we'll do some other stuff. So, see you in the morning. I found evidence of break-ins at our house. We had thieves in our house. These kind of thieves are pretty common out in the country. Uh, you know, they just kind of sneak in without anybody seeing them. They, um, they use the cover around them and they, they break in and they steal stuff. And uh, these ones are pretty sloppy. They left, um, they left a lot of evidence that they were there and the, they pooped in our house. That's the kind of thieves these are. If you don't, if you have a soft spot for little furry thieves look away now these are the thieves they pooped in my house so yesterday um, I was going into a drawer and I saw droppings and I was like son of a gun that's no fun so started washing everything where the droppings were um, they weren't even drawers that had like food or anything they were cutting boards and um, colanders and stuff like that so I deployed an array of traps uh, this morning there were two mice so I'm gonna throw these guys out and then uh, reset the traps and uh, hopefully we can nip this problem in the bud before uh, before it gets too bad anyway my hands are freezing from holding the camera and these traps I'm gonna go out and milk I'll see you guys in a bit okay guys that is not heaven it's just outside it kind of looks like heaven on the screen like whoa where'd my hand go don't go towards the light, Jeff. Don't go towards the light. Anyway, sorry, I'm just a goof. Anyway, so I just got off the phone with uh, the vet. Hi, you want to say hi? Say hi. Okay, good girl. And I did, I was doing this actually. I was milking with one hand and I was talking to the vet with the other. Um, she had said to call today um, if she hadn't passed the placenta. She hasn't. Um, Prudence is still fine. Like she's acting normal. She's eating normal. Her temperature has been good, so the vet's recommendation was to continue on until the end of the weekend. Um, if she hasn't passed the placenta by then, she'll come back out and take a look. One of the reasons that she thinks that she may not have passed it yet is because it's so stinking cold out, and what really needs to happen is the placenta needs to rot, and with it being as cold as it is, it's not rotting as fast as it would, say, if it was summer and it was 85 degrees out. So. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna finish milking because Prudy doesn't want to stay in here for 45 minutes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna show you quick. So this is what the placenta looks like. So it's continued to pass out, but it's just not. And I put as much pressure as I feel comfortable putting on it, which is not much, because um, the vet said 
I mean, you pull on it a little bit, but you know, don't pull on it. Like I just kind of pinched two fingers and very gently, and if it wasn't coming, I wasn't gonna pull on it. So we'll give it a couple more days. My hand will ah, ah, disappear. Anyway, I, it's fun. I gotta have fun, right? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna let her out and uh, get back inside with her. So I told you guys earlier about the mice that we've gotten. This is where they were. Uh, I noticed mouse droppings in here when I went to get a cutting board. There's some in this drawer and this drawer and that cabinet and that cabinet. So now I'm running the dishwasher constantly trying to get everything that had been in those washed uh, while trying to get the mice. We're up to three mice so far. Hey guys, got home from basketball. It is 10.15ish. Uh, just finished milking. I wanted to show you something, something very good. I don't know if you guys can see in this light here, there's nothing hanging out here. So if you remember this morning, or early in the video for you, uh, there was a big chunky section that I had said was kind of new and hadn't been, you know, I hadn't seen before. It seemed like she was passing a little bit of time. With any luck, she's done passing it. So I'll obviously keep an eye on her um, and check back with the vet on Monday. But after having talked to the vet earlier uh, today and she said, well, if it looks like she passes it, then we should be good and shouldn't need a recheck. So I'll keep an eye on her. I'm gonna continue to take her temperature once a day. She's been such a good, good cow. Haven't you? Haven't you? Yes, you have. She stands so well for me, um, and it's still taking me a long time, so she's been doing awesome. She's a great cow. She wants to go, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna untie her and let her go, but you're a good cow, aren't you? Yes, you are. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. I, um, I really appreciate all of you guys. Uh, please comment. I love talking to you guys, meeting new people uh, via the YouTube channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me kisses. Say hi. Say bye, guys. Yeah, you don't need to kiss my phone.